What's up, Lions? Happy February! Emma V here with the latest episode of the Lions News. Well, we are already into the second month of 2021, and while outside it is snowy and cold, inside the home of the Lions is really heating up. As you all know, February is African American History Month, and all of us here at the Lions Pride News Network look forward to celebrating all the incredible contributions and undeniable impact African American citizens have had on our country and the world. We will be featuring many GHS students delivering different citizen spotlights throughout the month, so be sure to check them all out. Alright Lions, let's get started with our first African American History Month spotlight from my good friend Anna. Take it away, girl. Hey Lions, Anna Ramuda is here with our first African American History Month Spotlight. Today we turn our attention to Amir Khalib Thompson, also known as Questlove. He is an American musician, songwriter, disc jockey, and music journalist. He is also the drummer of the hip-hop band The Roots. They have served as the house band for The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon since 2014. Thompson was born into a musical family in Philadelphia in 1971. Both of his parents were successful singers, performing professionally throughout his childhood. His father, Arthur Lee Andrews Thompson, was the lead singer of the famous 1950s doo-wop group Lee Andrews and the Hearts, and his mother, Jacqueline, was a singer in the Philly soul group Congress Alley. His parents did not want to leave him with babysitters, so they took him with them when they were on tour. As a result, he grew up in the backstages of doo-wop shows and music concerts. By the age of seven, he began performing and drumming at shows with his parents, musicals, groups, and by 13 had, a, had become a musical director. Questlove's parents enrolled him at the Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts, where he studied and roomed with many other prominent Philly musical artists, including the members of Boys to Men and Jazz Prodigies, Joy DeFrancesco and Christian McBride. From there, Questlove never looked back. He has gone in to record, produce, and collaborate with thousands of musicians, writers, poets, and artists. He continues to be one of the most proud, recognized, and involved Philadelphia musicians of our time. Be sure to check out all our broadcasts this month as we bring you more insight into the many contributions and the incredible impact of the other African Americans. What's up, Lines? As you know, we are now on the hybrid schedule with the gold team attending Mondays and Tuesdays and the blue team attending on Thursdays and Fridays. Besides a slight adjustment to the school day schedule, here are some other important reminders for all Lines. Remote students should be logged into their first period class by 8.16 a.m. All GHS students should log into their third period class Google Meet during homeroom. Teacher office hours will convert to 2.08 to 3.08 every school day. If a staff member has to change their office hours at any time, this will be communicated to students via Google Classroom. Phys ed classes cannot be completed for students remaining on remote instruction. So independent activities will be posted daily in physical education classrooms for our remote learners. We will continue to ask that all students and staff who experience COVID compatible symptoms stay home and participate in school remotely. We must stay vigilant Lions in order to keep everyone safe. Stay home and log into your classes remotely if you have any of the following symptoms. Sore throat, nausea, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, chills or shivers, runny nose, congestion, rash, fever, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, loss of taste, or loss of smell. Or if you have been within six feet of someone diagnosed with COVID-19 or COVID-19 symptoms for 15 minutes over the course of a single day. Stay focused and stay safe, Lions. Each year, the American School Counselors Association celebrates National School Counselors Week to focus public attention on the unique contribution of school counselors within the U.S. school systems. This week highlights the tremendous impact school counselors can have in helping students achieve school success and plan for a career. All of us at the LPNN are asking everyone in Lions Nation to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation for the invaluable contributions that our amazing counselors, Ms. Katie Light, Mr. Kevin Hagan and Mrs. Denise O'Donnell make every day at the home of the Lions, from supporting families navigating the college application and financial aid processes, through providing extra support to students and families experiencing major life stressors. Thank you, GHS Guidance Counselors, for everything that you do for every one of us. Go Lions! 
GHS yearbooks are now on sale and there are multiple ways to get one. You can reserve your copy by going to the link on the GHS website or you can see Miss Curto or Miss Sacchetti to pay in person with cash or check made payable to GHS. The total cost of this year's yearbook is $70 and you can reserve yours with a deposit as little as $20. Don't delay Lions, order your yearbook today. Attention all senior parents, this is your chance to have your student's name imprinted on your senior yearbook for no extra cost. Senior families are also welcome to honor their line by placing a personal ad in the yearbook by congratulating them on all of their achievements. Uh, personal ads are due February 11th and senior engravement requests are due February 18th. Both of these forms are available on the school's website or in Principal Gorman's newsletter. Please contact Ms. Sacchetti or Ms. Kirito if you have any questions. What's up, Lions? I'm Chris Bigger back with another Lions Sports Update. The GHS Boys Basketball team will return this week with their home opener against Gateway this Friday at 5.30 p.m. Remember, there are no fans permitted to attend the games. However, we will be broadcasting this game on GHS Live YouTube channel and Channel 19. The GHS Lady Lions have had an awesome start to their winter season and are now 3-0 over the weekend, they earned a huge win over the Lady Red Raiders of Hallsboro. The Lady Lions were led in scoring by Crystal Johnson and Meadow Avon Post with 13 points. The Lady Lions will move on to take Paulsboro again at their place on Tuesday. I had the pleasure of sitting down with another member of our Lady Lions basketball team this week, so let's take a look. But before we get there, I want to give a quick shout out to Coach Ethan Casey and Coach Angel Rodriguez for this awesome shirt they gave me over the weekend. So, now let's get into the interview. What's up, Lions? Bigger back with another Lions sports update. This time, joined by another member of the Lady Lions basketball team. You can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Crystal Johnson, um, number four. I'm point guard for the girls' varsity team. So, you play three sports. Uh, how do you manage all that? Playing three sports is definitely a lot, but it's a lot of fun. Playing every sport, I go to every single practice, sometimes two, three practices a day. At night, I'll do homework. It's, it's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, no, especially uh, playing that many sports you know, and loving sports, it could be really fun. Um, so playing sports all uh, all throughout high school, like how has the competition changed over all uh, four years? I feel the competition has like grown. It's definitely become a little bit more harder, especially like our team has put in a lot of work bringing more to the competition. And like we've worked so hard in order to be where we're at right now. Yeah, that's, that's a good answer. Um, so basketball wise, uh, what is something you have fixed from last year, like something you've improved on? I've definitely worked on my dribbling a lot so I could be the point guard. I feel like that's improved a whole a lot. And I've definitely worked on my shot a lot more from last year. Yeah, no, last night watching the scrimmage, uh, you were just all over the court, just <laughs> clamping up every single person you were guarding. Um, so what do you plan to do after high school? Um, I would love to go to college, play soccer and basketball and major in criminal justice. Do you know where at? No, not yet. Not yet? So is it a secret or you just, no, uh, just, just don't, don't know yet. yet? I got you. Been in contact with coaches. Uh, there you go. That's that's yeah, always good. Um, so that's all here. Anything else to add? No. Uh, go that's Lions. all. That's all from us here at the Home of the Lions. Lady Lions kick off their season January 26th, home against Linda Wall. That'll be streamed on GHS Live and Channel 19 in Glossary, Brooklyn. That's all for me here. I'll see you guys in the next one. One final important announcement for anyone interested in playing spring sports for the Lions. You must register online through Family ID by February 19th. This process helps ensure that all student athletes have met the various athletic eligibility requirements and medical clearance. Family ID open Monday for spring registration and will close on February 19th. There is no cost for registration, but you must register for any spring sports. You can call our athletic department at extension 1533 if you have any questions. What's up, Lions? As you all know, we are in the home stretch of course selection for the 2021-2022 school year. GHS guidance counselors have begun meeting with students during English classes to lead them through the course selection for next year. This Wednesday, February 3rd, emails will be sent out by our counselors to any students who are not available during these opportunities. Counselors will then follow up with an email to parents of any students who didn't respond to those initial requests. So, if you or your parents don't respond to these requests, we will have no choice but to select a student's 2021-2022 courses for them. This must happen as soon as possible in order to meet our deadline 
of having all course requests for next school year entered for all 8th through 11th grade students by President's Day. Don't delay, Lions. This is your chance to have a say in what courses you get and what direction your high school career will go. If you have any questions, please reach out to the GHS Guidance Department immediately. Don't delay, Lions. Make it happen today. Hey Lions, Sabrina here reminding everyone in Lions Nation that in-person technology support is available every weekday that school is in session from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. at the loading dock at Gloucester Middle School. Lions, you do not need to schedule an appointment. You can stop by any time between 2.30 and 3.30 to get your tech issues solved. Well, Lions, we had a few big birthdays over the last few days. So happy birthday to Elijah Nelson, Elo L, Joshua Brannigan, and our own Lions Pride News Network team members, Kevin Brecco and Anna Santiago. From all of us here at the LPNN, we hope you all had a great birthday. All right, Lions, that's it for this episode. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the GHS Live YouTube channel for live games, new shows, broadcasts, and more. Make it a great day. Stay safe, stay warm, and as always, go Lions.